Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, Citi, JP Morgan. What do all these firms have in common? What they have in common is that they pay their employees to talk to you. Here's how it works. Firms are paying tens of thousands of dollars to their own employees to speak with candidates in an effort to find the perfect fit for the firm. I have a friend at Morgan Stanley who, this is not his job. It's not on his LinkedIn profile. It's not on his resume, but he's made over $50,000 referring people he does not know to Morgan Stanley to come work for them. And here's why the firm does it. Because they all employ recruiting firms. Obviously, major banks cannot afford to spend so much time going and recruiting. They do. They have internal recruiting teams, but that's not what they are. They're financial institutions. They're not recruiting firms. So they outsource it. They hire recruiting firms to go and find students or individuals working at other firms, and they bring them in for interviews. At the associate level, a typical hire will cost the finance firm somewhere between twenty dollars and $30,000 to hire. They usually have a period, like they have, to make, they have to stay employed for six months, not get fired or not leave, but then it becomes permanent and the check is paid out to the recruiting firm. Not only is that a lot of money for the bank or hedge fund, quite frankly, to pay, but the goals aren't aligned. The recruiting firm has one goal, get as many candidates to the firm that we think look impressive and interview well. It's not who's going to be the best employee, it's who's going to get the job and stay for at least six months. That's not the same thing as who's going to make the best impact on the firm. And that's why the companies love it when internal people who've spoken to people and don't have that $25,000 paycheck, you know, lingering over their head, it's a different motivation, not to mention it's people they're going to be working with. So the firms love it when internal people refer external people into the firm, not to mention it's a lot cheaper. For an associate, I think right now most firms are paying about $7,500, which is a lot cheaper than $25,000, and it has the same restrictions. I think they're even tighter. Someone has to stay with the firm for like a year for you to get paid out. Over the past two years, I've referred many people to Morgan Stanley, and a lot of them have gotten offers and been hired. And because of that, I now have directors at Morgan Stanley constantly reaching out to me saying, hey, Mark, I have an opening on my team. They don't even go to the recruiting firms. They don't want to deal with, okay, we have 50 resumes coming in. They're all you know, strong, good interviewers, but like, we're not sure. They know that I know so many young professionals in finance, so they speak to me as a former Morgan Stanley employee and because I know them so well. So this is a really big thing for major banks like Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley. They trust my intention. So sure, go apply online. Just don't whine about that you applied to 200, 250 roles and you didn't hear back. Reach out to people in the firm. Don't attach your resume. Reach out, have a conversation. Listen to them talk about their job. Smile, nod, tell them, wow, that sounds interesting. And then talk about yourself. Engage, get them to know you. And pause. Apply for a job or reach out to them a week or two later and say, hey, I found this job posting. Would it be okay if you referred me? If they spoke with you beforehand, they will always say yes. And internal referrals always go to the top of the pile. So even online applications, if you're not one of those internal referrals, you're not first pickings. It's, it's harmless, like no bad can come of it, and a lot of very good can. So don't discount the benefit of a good old conversation. I'll see you next week.